Good morning, everyone on YouTube. Um, okay, so now we're going to talk about the next part of my Godzilla DVD discussion uh, slash review. And we're going to start off with a monster, a kaiju that Godzilla never uh, actually fought in battle. Except for uh, when fans make, you know, movie movie trailers or little fan uh, video games of Godzilla beating the heck out of Gamera. Which, some of us would love to see Godzilla versus Gamera. But I don't know if that will ever happen. So what we're going to do is I've got the Gamera Legacy Collection that has all of... Gamera Showa plus the trilogy of the Guardian of the Universe. Now I have the trilogy separately on DVD. But, um, this has them all together. But the only thing is, the other, the other trilogy that I have of Gamera's, uh, high sci series is, uh, is the fact that they have, uh, special features. Um, this is just a bare bones, no special features whatsoever package. The quality of the Showa camera, I mean, you can really tell is a suit. Um, they they did really well for um, what they did for what they did in that time frame that they had for special effects. Um, it was really, I think it was really more geared towards kids than anything because Gamera always rescued 12 year old boys um, um, and uh, they were always getting into trouble so you just have to go and save them. What was interesting about the 90's trilogy is that it was completely CGI and um, they didn't use a suit so um, Isis was very well designed, or I mean not Isis, but Iris uh, was very well designed. Um, just scratch when I said Isis, I really meant Iris, okay? Iris was really well designed in the last movie, um, and the concept was that Gamera was a guardian and kind of the concept of Iris was that she was a guardian too, but she was an evil guardian. And the whole the whole way through it um, starts with the very first reappearance of Gauss, which was really well designed. And then in the second they have Attack of Legion, which, which is another monster that Gamera defeated. Um, and then of course you have Iris. And all of the monsters that he fought were well designed. Um, you have Baragon, which he fought, or Baragon. Uh, Gamera, Gamera versus Virios in the Showa series. Um, Ver, uh, he versus Gorion, uh, Jigger, Zigra. Um, And then you, of course, the last one is called Super Monster, which really is just a highlight of everything that he's fought. Um, they were all very well done. Um, the 90s was, was really good. Um, and uh, so this is a really good buy if you guys want good quality Showa on Gamera. Um, so it's really good. Um, I would buy it. Then, of course, I've got the bootleg, Godzilla Returns, um, which was 1984. And we have scenes on here that really add to the story that you normally wouldn't get otherwise. Um, in Godzilla Returns 1984 on VHS with Raymond Burr, um, they wanted to make it kind of silly. And Raymond Burr was quoted uh, saying to these guys that no, you're gonna you're gonna make it serious. So um, if he hadn't have said what he said, 
Godzilla Returns in the U.S. would have been very, probably very, very different. There is only one scene in here where we do have English-speaking officials. Um, the rest is completely in Japanese. Um, whereas the U.S. paints the guy that was doing the was part of the Soviet Union uh, terrorist group anyway. Um, we paint him as a bad guy, and here they kind of show him as a good guy trying to turn off the the missile launcher. And in the U.S. version, we actually don't show that. We show what we show is him trying to disarm it, but then uh, um, falling, you know, falling down and not being able to get to the, you know, kind of we paint him as a bad guy. But anyway, this is a good movie. Um, so. If you really like the 1984 suit, this is a good thing to watch because you get the whole story um, with with the with the uh, with the girl's brother, um, the reporter um, that files the story on him, and and you get the whole story with this. The U.S. version, they actually cut parts of that out. Now I don't have the Japanese version of Godzilla vs. Violante, but I do have this version. And this is the American version with the Saudi Arabia guy and the suit in here was pretty good. It's 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 a it's a sequel from Godzilla Returns. Um it's not bad. It's pretty good. I've watched it. It's very decent. And now on to my other, this is the old uh, double feature DVD with Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah and and uh, Godzilla and Mothra the Battle for the Earth. And once again we have two Moths and Godzilla being as bad as he can be. And then the reinvent, reinventing of King Ghidorah. And then they bring in Mecha King Ghidorah, which I thought was really, really well done. I loved Mecha King Ghidorah. Uh, <clears throat> so anyway, these suits were well designed. Uh, I didn't have a problem with them. I actually liked them. And um, these aren't in, there's no, I mean, there's subtitles, but there's no Japanese uh, soundtrack that goes with these. Now, we have Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, and they reintroduce Godzilla's son as a Godzillasaurus in here. And... Mecha G was very well done. I, I like the idea that this is kind of like a sequel after Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. Because what they do is now that science has progressed, they go and take the fallen Mecha King Ghidorah and build Mecha G out of it. Well, then they find out through the little baby Godzilla source that. Godzilla has a second brain in his tail, so they decide they're going to use a psychic, or, uh, well, anyway, use someone with psychic abilities to basically pinpoint the second brain and kill Godzilla. And this is G-Force idea, because they're all about destroying Godzilla. Well, Rodan was destroyed by Godzilla, but he comes back and becomes Fire Rodan. Now, the con in this movie, I mean, this is a good movie, but the way they dub this movie, they do not call Rodan Rodan. They call him Radon. Um, I absolutely hate how they did the name version in this. Um, you know, they got Godzilla right, but they did not get Rodan right. And unfortunately, that's the only issue I have with this, is they did not get Rodan's name correct. Then, following from the last, you know, the last movie with Godzilla vs. Batra, or Mothra Battle for the Earth, we have Space Godzilla, and we have a really cute design for Baby Godzilla. And uh, Space Godzilla comes to Earth, and he wants to kick Godzilla's butt, of course, and take over Tokyo, which... Um, Basically, he's kind of like a Godzilla clone. 
Now, the storyline in this was kind of cheesy, but I actually loved G Space Godzilla's design. And then we have Godzilla vs. Destroya, which is a final salute to the 1954 movie with the Oxygen Destroyer. And Destroya was created by the Oxygen Destroyer. So they decide um, to kill Godzilla off with a nuclear meltdown. Well, Destroya kills Godzilla Jr. And when Godzilla has his meltdown, G-Force helps minimize that, which is good. And then we see Godzilla Jr. become Godzilla. And Godzilla is reborn. And so that ends the High Sight series because after that we go in to Godzilla 98. So I'm going to stop my recording here. Um, and and I will tell you that the suits in these, these, the 90s was very, very well done. I mean, you couldn't have asked for a better suit. And the special effects just kept getting better and better.